Happy New Year everyone. In today's training, we will be looking at outdoor wireless link calculator for a BPT device. In today's tutorial, we will be looking at how to use this uh, web application for simulation and um, how we can use it to um, design a site survey report and uh, how we can actually achieve it to suit our plan for point to point and point to multi point. Let's dive in. So the first thing we're going to do is to go to google.com and we'll type in ubiquity calculator. When you click on this research, what you first see is hair link link.io you click on this when we click on this it will actually take us to ubiquity calculator site where we can actually do our, our simulation and propagation design so um this place is for us to actually tie to our, our project so i will give it a point to point and point to multi point just you can give you anything you want but, but for sake of this training i'm not going to give it leave it at that so here is where we are going to have our address and here are the two uh design well whatever whatever we are doing in network design it is that i want to do a point to point link or I want to do a point to multi point so anyone anyone we want to choose we can pick from here but for this particular tutorial, we, are, we, are, we will be using a point to point. Okay. So here, the coordinates we are going to use here is going to be um, in decimal format. So I have it on my uh, radio mobile application. If you don't know how to use radio mobile application, you can check some of my tutorial. I did some weeks ago on how to set up redo mobile application and how to get the best out of your design using this app radio mobile application so when you click on radio mobile application you you have um you have your base station coordinate now what is this is the decimal format okay you copy the decimal format you come we come to um, our browser, we place, we paste it, comma, space, we go back to the longitude, control C, we come back here, we come back to our browser, we paste it and we click the enter key. Okay, so here now, what we want to do is we want to do a point to more a point to point uh, link uh, design. I will just click here, and uh, it's telling me that um, what is the name of the the my base station and the other remote end. So here I will call this place base station. Okay. Why this other one? We call it remote, remote end. Okay, so the kind of uh, uh, device we'll be using for the purpose of this training. Let's just use. Um, let's use. Let's click more to have more option. So we we'll scroll down. We can use. I like this particular. Uh, I use this a lot. I use. This a lot. I've used this. I've used this. This. I've used, I've almost used all these devices. So let me just use this rocket okay, case light. So since we are doing a point to point, we can also then our height, our height, our device height. Let's use 30 meter here, which is a uh, hundred feet, and our auto power. Let's use default. Well, I usually, uh, I don't usually use default output power when I'm actually designing um, 
uh, when I'm designing using this uh, propagation propagation simulation too because um, there's always um, variation in the real life uh, scenario because um, if you have a signal of a 57 here on these two and uh, we have a, a throughput of 147 and 147 here when you go to the uh, when you move to site you might not have that 57 you have here you might be having maybe a variation of 4 plus 4 minus 4 but the most time is actually plus 4 so you are having 61 and this value might be down so I usually bring down my power volume to like 23 okay so for me to have so that i will not have to, uh, 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 too much um balanced figure from here uh, at the same time uh, when i get to size i will not be struggling so we'll be using a channel width of 40. we don't want it to be too narrow let it be broad so you can have enough capacity because the more you if you narrow this channel width to 20 it's showing that you want the spectrum to you are, you are st streamlining the spectrum to reduce in size, but if you take it to 40 megahertz, you are, you are, you are actually increasing the spectrum, and also increasing the capacity it will carry. But when you use 20 megahertz, you are it will travel further, but the capacity we're going to carry it will be will be much uh, lower. So at this particular end, we'll be using the same radio, rocket AC light. Um, here you can also use 30 meter um under feet tower sorry about that i want my cup lock and uh, here we can use another we we'll use a same transmit power with a 30 bit 30 dvi antenna dish so the only thing we need to do here now is to put our coordinates so the coordinates of our uh, base station is is this okay i think we have that already 6.6 to 4472 3.4895 so what we need to do is our customers uh, end coordinate so let's go back to our radio mobile cancel this customers end and they will come to pick our latitude in decimal format we'll come back here we'll paste it comma we we'll paste and we'll go back there and we'll pick our longitude control C and um, we we'll paste it. We enter the key and this application will actually load our address. So what it's telling me now is that what it's telling me now is that um, let me reduce it actually see where what is actually happening. So this is what we've done. Um, these are the two locations. I don't want to expand it too much so that I can actually you can actually see what I'm doing. This is uh, the first location. This is the base station, and this is the uh, remote end. So here now, here now, what um what we are basically done. So most important, I just wanted to know is the the address. The coordinates of uh, your base, the of your of your of your coordinates of your uh, location A, which is uh, this. The height, the height varies. The customer might be using a pole, or they, are, they might be using a tower. Here is the output, and here is the channel which we're using. I'm trying to use 30 dB antenna. And the same thing applies with both ends. So I'm saying that this is the capacity we are going to be getting at the end of the installation when we move to site, and this is the capacity we're also be getting. And the freshness, so this is the freshness. So we're saying that uh, our 30 meter antenna was will be able to actually beat all this obstruction, this sea elevation above the sea level, and every other building that might be associated with this with this location. So here. When you click on signal strength, instead of the signal strength we are going to be getting is is um, 40 minus 40 dBi, okay, and uh, 
that is that so we 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 basically we are done so i will i will also like to show us the point to multipoint when we click on point to multipoint you can see that it's saying that the um when you're working on point to multipoint it's saying, it's saying that you want to use one device to actually um connect to multiple customer end device so that is basically what that is telling us so here now we are using rocket 5 ac prism gen 2 and this is our uh, this is the uh the if coordinates address uh here we are using 12 meter uh and device height whether well, i can use it to 20 and our output is 28 our channel which is a 20 megahertz well let's use 40 so that you can actually see the effect here of what i'm talking about um so we are we'll be using 40 megahertz just to increase our spectrum so that we can actually more base station more customers can actually be able to come, connect to it so we can say this is our base station base station um sector okay and uh, this is uh, our client client end okay so we'll be using uh, normally when you are using uh, um uh when you are setting up a point to point you don't use cardio antenna okay you usually use a, a flat flat panel antenna and most of them actually come in 16 dbi 19 dbi 90 degree and 120 degree and here we 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 can use any with any device here when you can use any of these device to connect to this base station sectoria antenna so but, but for, the, for the purpose of this tutorial we will be using this uh, gen 2 power beam 5 ac gen and uh, this is the address we can use um, the antenna height can be 15 it doesn't have to be the same uh, we can, it can either be a pool a mass or a tower and the antenna height is 25 and we are using the same um channel with and later in the future i'll be showing us how to configure all these ubiquity devices microsoft devices cambium devices triangle configuration and any other device any other wireless device you might think of i've done them i work on them i have more than eight ten years of experience when it comes to networking and wireless uh, installation and configuration i will so, I also analyze this one here now it's telling us that uh, from our base station here, this is the uh, coverage area. So any any device, any any customer, cost client, any client end that is outside outside this region might not get a good service or a good link. Within this place to this place, we have a good coverage. From this place to this place, we have a good coverage. But any customer that is out of this coverage, there's a tendency that we might not have either a good signal, either a good sig either we might not have either a good signal and we might not have good um, uh, throughput or capacity quality. So that is what is that is all about. So here is our uh, our signal and here is our Fresnel zone. I think that the we still have enough space for us to actually operate. And um, between this place and this clearance zone, we still have uh, a distance of four kilometers. Okay, this is four kilometer from the base station to this place, and uh, our, our Fresnel zone to, to the obstruction is about um, five meter, which is um, still fair enough. Thank you for, and we hope uh, you come up for more to learn from um, what we give out on a weekly basis and uh, apply it to your daily activity for you to be a better person in your career and, uh, and your choosing career and whatever you, you, you desire to be in the future. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel.